she did. No, no I, but I, I, didn't. I didn't. Okay. Since we've seemed to have hit a bit of an impasse with that question, uh, let's start which? with something. I'm sorry, Dinah. Well, you said hit oh, an impasse, Susan, which I, I feel has a rather negative connotation Don't to you it. Mean aggressive kind okay. of aggressive? Meant aggressive? I would have said aggressive. Oh, like when you said we were going Christmas shopping. What you meant was is we were going to spend two hours at your stylist. We had a book signing that day. Dinah. And I don't know why she's all uppity about Christmas anyway. She's a Jew That's for crying out though. loud. And your mother is a Bible-thumping, homophobic troll with an IQ of 75. But I still bought her a present. Okay. I think we seem to have reached an impasse. Well, that, that was just... Well, okay, um, why don't we talk about something that puts us on a little more common footing? You mean common ground. Okay, are we going to talk about how she uses her little historical brain that to is distract so not a word. from the emotional dialogue that's occurring? Dinah and I have already discussed. Why is it so difficult to just use words properly? Oh, you mean words like Jew? Converted Jew? Okay, okay. Don't you think that was odd? Since you've both brought up communication, um, why don't we talk about the fact that you found a common language in order to write your book? We, we didn't. didn't. I'm sorry. She wrote her part. And she wrote hers. Okay, but the book's all about communication, cooperation, mutual respect, how we get... And you realize it's called How to Succeed in Marriage Without Even Trying. I tried. I tried. Um, you know, I've, I've actually recommended it to most of my clients. I'm sure you've recommended it to your clients. Why would you deny using such a useful tool, which you could both, I, okay. Are you two getting divorced? Yes. Yes. Oh. That was completely unprofessional. Susan? <laughs> like you've never gotten upset in a session before. Well, of course I have. I, I just don't show it. Oh, God forbid. Your patients actually feel like they're talking to a human being. We really need to discuss how this is it's not transference, it's identification. Oh, and is that working out well for you analyzing narcissists? What is that supposed to mean? What I'm saying is you have a particular knack for attracting a certain kind of Okay, client. you know what? You need to keep your nose out of my client notes. Oh, you're the one who was going through my notes. Well, if you actually typed them into a computer, I, I have to do that for you. I type. Right, so instead we have to have 17 boxes of legal notes lying all over the house. Like this house isn't big enough. I didn't want to buy this house. And you didn't. But you certainly made it your own, now didn't you? So how about a thank you to my Bible-thumping, homophobic troll of a mother for forking over the down payment while we were still in grad school? And again, my, my mother does only have an IQ of 75, so I'm not sure she knew that real estate was a good investment. I was going to be staying with you starting today, remember? Oh, I got evicted, I think. They put this notice on my door gate or something. I'm going to crash with you guys for a few days. Oh, hey, congratulations on the whole book kicking ass thing. Your manager called, I think, about something happening or something. 
Anyway, that's got to be a nice belated Christmas present. Oh, sorry, sis. Hanukkah. <laughs> Happy fucking New Year. <laughs> Well, this is fantastic. And um, I mean that in the most constructive sense of the word. <laughs> I, uh, I just feel like I have to ask, this decision that you've made to continue your relationship and to continue therapy, it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that your book is number one on the New York Times bestseller list, does it? Okay, it really works best if you guys just pretend like we're not here.